the Balance 20X has gone through a pretty massive transformation uh, with the release of firmware 8.3. Come along with us and we'll tell you all about it. So the Balance 20X has always been a really kind of interesting and unique uh, device, but it's been a balance series device, which balance is I kind of always, the way I've looked at it is a balance uh, device is a home office or it's an enterprise device. Um, it really wasn't designed for mobile use. The way that most of the software and the layout in the device is kind of optimized is for cellular or wireless connectivity to be the backup if like your cable modem or something fails. And that really just makes them not operate as well for the mobile community. We've been pushing with Peplink for a while to move the Balance 20X to something that's really a lot more mobility friendly. With 8.3, they have delivered. And the way they delivered is that they moved the Balance 20X from the Balance operating system over to the traditional mobility operating system that we see in like the BR1 uh, series and the Transit series mobile devices. By switching this over to the mobility operating system, it's allowed them to enable certain features that weren't in the balance operating system. One of the key ones being now the device supports Wi-Fi as WAN, or the ability to connect to public campground, marina, or home Wi-Fi, or even a, a phone hotspot Wi-Fi, and use that as one of your internet connections. So with 8.3, the Balance 20X now has uh, Wi-Fi WAN. 8.3 has done quite a bit more though for the Balance 20X. Uh, but before we go into kind of what the new stuff is, why did we like the router in the first place? Well, the Balance 20X has a lot of stuff that some of the other mobility devices doesn't have. One, it has a USB port here, which is a uh, port that can be used to expand your WAN sources or your internet connection sources. We'll talk about that in a minute. It has an integrated switch here, a four port switch, which allows you to connect a lot more wired devices. And then it has this expansion port. I've got a, a, a modem right here installed in this expansion port. It's called a mini flex module. Um, this is a category 12, but you can install a 5G in there as well. So you had the ability to expand the connections with that flex module. And it had an integrated uh, additional cellular modem down here at the bottom um, that, that made it really kind of like a great all around device but it had some shortcomings. That integrated modem down here was a category four modem up until very recently. And we sat down with Peplink and we said, guys, our customers just need to see more than category four. It's not giving us the throughput or the access to the newer cellular bands that are so important for mobile users. So they upgraded this to a category seven uh, cellular modem. And a category seven, while not 5G, has rounded out the access to cellular bands to make it a really, really attractive modem for customers at a very low and aggressive price point. Keep in mind this device, as of the filming of this video, is, is a sub $600 device and it has all of this expandability, making it really just a top, top pick for us. Next, the operating system was the second kind of shortcoming and we've talked about how that has been addressed. Yes. Third, we had no Wi-Fi WAN. That has been addressed, yes. Fourth, this USB port here, really it, it allowed you to connect an additional uh, cellular modem. This is what's called a max adapter from Peplink, but you, it didn't act like an embedded or integrated cellular modem. Um, it, it gave you very little functionality and you couldn't do things like band selection and, and, and really most of the key features that are why people want to invest in, in a, in a high-end internet solution like this. So those were the shortcomings that, that had us kind of steering our customers towards some of the other devices. All of them are solved with the release of 8.3. Let's get into that now and I'll kind of show you what this thing's capable of now that the software has been upgraded. Okay, so first off on the USB modem side, yes, when you connect a Max adapter to a Balance 20X, it now acts just like it's integrated into the device. So you get full customization, all of the information about that connection, and it's acting just like an embedded device. The same goes for the flex module here. That was always the case, but just to confirm. So now with this device, sub $600 device, I've got a category seven, really good all around cellular modem down here. I can expand here and add 5G 
and then you can add another USB 5G modem all into this central command center. So you've got one 5G connection, another 5G connection, the onboard category seven connection, and you've still got the Wi-Fi WAN, which gives you two simultaneous connections to public Wi-Fi on two gigahertz or five gigahertz networks. Um, plus you've got the WAN port here. So that's six simultaneous connections to the internet in a sub uh, $600 router, all that give you, because this is now a prime care SKU, um, that all give you access to Speed Fusion Connect or Speed Fusion Protect. Um, so you can combine all those connections into a, a single unified connection. That's just, that's just awesome. Um, it, it's just, it's unheard of for this price point. In addition, with firmware 8.3, they've unlocked the virtual WAN connection for one virtual WAN license, which means that it actually will allow you to convert one of these LAN ports to a WAN port, a secondary WAN port, which means you can have two wired internet connections on this device just with your active prime care subscription, meaning you have a total of seven internet connections in this device. And if you want an additional uh, wired WAN connection on the device, you can add them with additional virtual WAN licenses. Uh, the sky is kind of the limit. It's, it's pretty awesome. So what does that mean for the average customer or if you're new to this channel? Well, this would be a really good device for folks that might be looking at, um, you know, trying to save some money right out of the gates, but possibly looking to combine Starlink and cellular uh, and then have a lot of expandability uh, going forward. So, I mean, what we're talking about is you would be able to plug in Starlink, let's say into your WAN port, you could plug in, you know, T-Mobile home internet into your secondary WAN port. Um, both of those have a lot of limitations in terms of location or, you know, tree covers or stuff like that, but they have high bandwidth um, and high, you know, high bandwidth allotments, high gigabit allotments on their data plans. So those could be some interesting connections here. You could then complement uh, those with a uh, integrated cellular data plan here or through the expansion module if you wanted to invest in that for 5G um, or the USB port if you wanted to go with a max adapter. Just a ton of flexibility and you don't have to buy any of these components right out of the gate. It's a very modular system that makes it just, just easier to swallow when you're getting started and you're not 100% sure what's gonna work for you in your travel uh, and your kind of where you go and how you travel. Um, but you kind of know that you're not gonna get locked into a corner or a place where you're gonna feel bad that you bought something because you can always expand upon this device. To celebrate the, the rebirth of the Balance 20X uh, for the month of February uh, 2023, this is actually our member deal of the month device. Um, for you guys that don't know, um, these videos are brought to you by our premium members and members not only uh, support the community, but they also get access to a whole bunch of benefits, uh, one being the member deal of the month. So to give you kind of a high level on memberships, you get discounts all year round when you're part of the membership. You get access to upgraded shipping. You get access to membership reward points. Probably most importantly, you get access to the Mobile Internet Resource Center and all of the member premium content available there to help you kind of stay up to date and aware of, of all things mobile connectivity. As part of the membership, uh, and part of the partnership with Mobile Must Have, we are expanding out the uh, member-only guides and, and um, access to all things Peplink through um, our support team. So we're building out a number of different webinars around advanced features, how to get this stuff all working, and we are staffing an active forum for members to help people troubleshoot exactly how to get their setups going exactly how they want. So the memberships typically pay for themselves, and when you're looking at a deal of the month, they probably absolutely do pay for themselves. So if you're thinking about it, you would definitely want to check that out at membership.mobilemusthave.com. Dot com. Thanks so much for watching folks and talking through the 8.3 firmware release. As always, you can hop over to mobilemusthave.com and you can click on the bottom right hand corner to start up a chat with one of our experts. You can also go over to talk.mobilemusthave.com if you'd like to schedule a live phone consultation to talk about any of the products that we discuss in these videos. And lastly, you can always email us at info at mobilemusthave.com if you prefer to communicate via email. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the road.